Gordon was pulling a very important express. But he soon came across a tunnel. Is that a ghost? Gordon cried. He quickly changed the points and ran away as quickly as he could. Toby then came across the tunnel. What is in this tunnel? wondered Toby. didn't want to stay to find out. And finally, Thomas needed to use the tunnel. Thomas. He wanted to know what was in the tunnel, so he reversed off to get some help. Soon Ghosty arrived. He wasn't scared of anything, so he stormed in. The other engines gathered around to find out what was in the tunnel. Okay, here is your ghost, announced Ghosty. The other engines waited nervously. Inside the cave was Percy. Percy, what are you doing in there? asked Toby. I was hiding, he said. Let me explain. It all started this morning. Sir Topham Hat was telling us our jobs for the day. Gordon got to pull the express. Toby got to pull Henrietta. Thomas had to pull Annie and Clarabelle. And I got to pull trucks. I was disappointed, but just got on with it. I had to deliver trucks full of flour. And then, Diesel decided to have some fun. He went onto my track, and I couldn't see him. Flour went everywhere. We were covered in flour. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. And then I saw Gordon coming with the express. I couldn't let him see me like this, otherwise I'll never get to pull the express myself. So I turned around and hid in this tunnel. Unfortunately, flour still blew everywhere. You all got to carry important passengers today, so I stayed hidden in the tunnel, explained Percy. Oh Percy, we all get dirty sometimes. I'm sure Sir Topham Hat will give you an express soon, reassured Thomas. Percy felt a bit better, so he cleaned himself up and delivered the flower. And the next day, Sir Topham Hat gave Percy some very important coaches to pull, and he couldn't have been prouder. Oh.
Uh oh. It's Tom Moss. <laughs> He's found a hypnotizing fidget spinner. <laughs> this isn't going to end well. Uh oh. Watch out, minions. He's going to hypnotize them. Eh? Oh. Tom hypnotized them. First, he made them think that they were cows. He then made them think that they were bats. They couldn't fly though. Ow! And then Tom made them think that they were ghosts, but they still couldn't pass through walls. Ooh. Ooh, ow. And finally, he hypnotized them so that they would steal Sodor's valuable crown. Tom knew that Sir Topham Hat had asked for Thomas to deliver it to a more secure location. Take good care of the crown, Thomas. Watch out for thieves. Will do. And off he went. But he was soon followed. Take the crown. Thomas didn't know what to do. Must take the crown! And then... Must take crown! They derailed Thomas. The minions jumped aboard and took the crown. But Tom Moss was selfish and didn't want to share the crown. So he ran away without the minions. Huh? Must steal the crown! Yes, yes, you guys have already done that. Must steal the crown. Are you guys all right? Percy arrived with Rocky. Must steal crown. Are they all right? I don't know. They've been saying must steal crown over and over again. Well, there's one way to see if minions are okay or not. Oh, minions. Huh? Who wants a banana? Must steal crown. Something's wrong. They always want a banana. So Thomas was put back on the track. They could be hypnotised, you know. Oh, I think you're right, Rocky. We need to find a fidget spinner to unhypnotize them then. So they rushed off, looking for a spinner. Luckily, they soon found one. Marshall, please can we borrow your fidget spinner? These minions are hypnotised. Of course. The minions looked at the spinner. Huh? Ooh. Whoa, whoa. What? It worked! Minions, where did Tom take the crown? Oh, oh, we know, we know, this way! So the minions told the engines where to go. Thomas soon caught up. He gave the truck a nudge. So the crown fell out. And Tom didn't notice. <laughs> well, hey, got it! Ooh, looks good on you. Percy caught up. <sighs> Well done, guys! Right, let's take this crown to the secure location. We'll help! 
we can keep an eye out for thieves for you. So they worked together to take the crown to the secure location. And Tom soon noticed that the crown was gone, so he ran back to his tunnel. Until next time. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's Tom Moss. <laughs> oh no, he's got some naughty helpers. <laughs> They're up to no good. Meanwhile, Sir Topham Hat had an important job for James, Thomas and Percy. Engines, we have some very valuable items which need delivering to the Sodor Museum. I'm putting you three in charge. So they each took a valuable item and set off for the museum. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Thomas! Thomas! What is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. There's something in the cave. Oh, let me have a look. Hmm, I can't see anything. <laughs> nope, there's nothing in there. Oh, phew. Well, thanks, Thomas. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sucker. Yeah, we've got it. And Thomas didn't even notice. Next up was James. Hey James, hi! Hi James, hi! Whoops! <laughs> Sorry about that. There you go. Have a nice day! <laughs> We've got his crown! We've got his crown, we've got his crown. <laughs> <laughs> One left. Percy. Come on, let's do it. What do you want? <laughs> it's only me! <laughs> oh, phew! Okay, you got me. <laughs> okay, I've got to get going and deliver this treasure. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Sucker! They now had all three valuable items. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chase was waiting for the trains at the museum. Here you go, Chase. Here are the ancient coins. Huh? There are no coins, Thomas. James arrived. And here's the crown. But James, you're not carrying a crown. What? Percy then arrived without his valuable item. Where have they all gone? Oh, I bet it was those minions in the tunnel. Oh, I think you're right, Percy. But they could be anywhere by now. Na na ni na na. <laughs> 
There they are! So the engines chased them. Oh, quick! Run! Run! But Tom was pulling a lot of heavy items, so he couldn't move very quickly. So he uncoupled two of the trucks. Yes! They've dropped the coins and the crown! Ah, oh, but they've got the treasure chest. Oh, don't worry about that. Sir Tom Hat told me a secret about the treasure chest. They're going to be really disappointed. Ta da! We're rich! <laughs> Look at all of this treasure! What? It's empty! No! Ugh, all of that for nothing. So the real treasures were delivered to the museum and Tom retreated back to his tunnel. Until next time. <laughs> Diesel 10 had a new toy. It was a fidget spinner, but he had made some adjustments to it. I just need an engine to try this out on. Perfect. Oh, Thomas! Hi Diesel 10, what can I do for you? Can you look directly into this for me please? You are now hypnotised. When it stops spinning, every time you hear an engine whistle, you will sneeze. Whoa, whoa, what just happened? Oh, nothing. Okay, well, I need to get back to work. Bye. And off Thomas went. Time to see if it worked. Thomas soon bumped into Percy. Hello, Thomas. Achoo. Oh, excuse me. Are you alright, Thomas? Yeah, I'm fine. Achoo. You seem to be sneezing a lot. But they thought nothing of it and carried on with their jobs. <laughs> it worked! Time to step it up a bit. Thomas? Thomas? Oh, you again? Yes, I need you to look at this again. This time when you hear an engine whistle, you will think that you're a chicken. <laughs> oh, well, I've got to go. I'm already late. He ran into Percy again. Hello, Thomas. Are you alright? Something's not right. Thomas thought he was a chicken. Thomas suddenly heard some other chickens. They were in James's truck. And because he thought he was a chicken, he wanted to join them. Thomas, what are you doing? Oh, uh, oh, sorry James. And he left, leaving James to tidy up his trucks. Thomas was very annoyed with Diesel 10. Someone was calling him though. Thomas, Thomas, I think Diesel 10's hypnotised you. Oh, don't be silly, Percy. Oh, really? Okay, okay, so what do we do? 
they came up with a plan. Thomas? Thomas, where are you? I'm over here, Diesel. Ah, Thomas, I need you to look directly into this again for me. But you're hypnotising me with it, aren't you? Hypnotising you? No, no. Just have a quick look at it for me. Ah, what? It's gone! Looking for this? What? How did you get it? Oh, please don't hypnotise me. completely under our control. When the spinner stops, you'll want to do all of our jobs for the rest of the day. That way you'll think twice about trying to hypnotise us again. You didn't hypnotise me, did you? Uh, no, no. Well, I'd better get back to work. Those heavy trucks won't pull themselves. Oh, don't strain yourself. Here, I'll deliver them for you. And I've got to deliver some heavy trucks too. Don't worry, let me take them. So they had tricked Diesel 10 into being nice. Perhaps they should use the hypnotising spinner more often. Whiff and Scruff work at Whiff's Waste Dump. One day, they were asked to go and get trash from the other side of the island and bring it back to the Waste Dump. But it was a long journey and they were going to have to go several times to get all the trash. The engines were getting tired, when Whiff had a naughty idea. Hey Scruff, why don't we dump our waste in this tunnel instead of going back to the dump? Then we'll be quicker. Oh, good idea Whiff. So both engines dumped their waste in the tunnel and went back to get some more. But what they didn't realise was, the trash was coming to life in the tunnel. <laughs> and they were making a trash monster. putting more and more trash inside the tunnel. And more and more trash was coming to life. Ah. 
Soon, the whole island was full of trash, so Top and Hat was not happy. The whole point of having a waste dump is to clean up the island. I am very disappointed in you two. Whiff and Scruff felt terrible. Sir, sir, screeched Percy. Some of the trash has turned a Masham into a trash monster. Well, well then, Whiff and Scruff. If you can clean up the island quickly, I guess you can open that Masham as a reward. <laughs> so Whiff and Scruff cleaned up the island. and Ben are twins. So are Donald and Douglas. But who is the better set of twins? Guys, Dougie and I have a challenge for you. We all like a good prank, so we challenge you to a prank off. Bill and Ben like this idea. The winner is the first set of twins to prank Thomas successfully. But he's one of the few engines who can usually tell us apart. I know, makes it a challenge. Bill and Ben accepted the challenge and went first. Thomas was nearby, pulling some heavy trucks. He ran into Ben. Hi Thomas, would you like some help with those trucks? Oh, thanks Ben. So Ben took two of the trucks and off they went. but they had to pass through a tunnel. Thomas went the longer way round to let Ben use the tunnel. Little did he know that Bill was waiting inside the tunnel with two empty trucks. So Ben went in with two full trucks and Bill came out with two empty trucks. Thomas noticed the empty trucks. Stop! What happened to the rocks? What? They must have vanished! Mm, yeah, wait a minute. You're Bill! I started this journey with Ben. Oh, he got us. You two tried to trick me. Well, you failed. So Thomas took back his trucks and continued with his journey. Donald and Douglas arrived. Oh dear me! Looks like it's our girl, Donald. They came up with a prank. First, they swapped tenders. So Donald, who's usually the number 9, was now the number 10. And Douglas, who's usually the number 10, was now the number 9. Donald approached the station. All aboard! The passengers were confused. But you're not Thomas. 
I can get you there quickly though. Some passengers climbed aboard, but some wanted to wait for Thomas. And off he went. Moments later, Thomas arrived. Hmm, it's quiet today. That's because another engine's taken everyone. What? What engine? Well, he was black and Scottish and had the number 10. Oh, Douglas! Douglas arrived, but because he had the number 9 tender, Thomas thought he was Donald. Donald, have you seen Douglas? Yes, I just passed him. Thomas was about to leave when... Hey, you're the number 9, but you're Douglas. You've swapped tenders. Ugh, Donald, he got us. Oh dear, close one. Stop trying to prank me. You're only wasting everyone's time. And off he went with all of the passengers. Oh dear, that didn't work. Looks like it's our turn again, Bill. They came up with a prank. Thomas was running late. But he had to stop again because there was an engine blocking the track. Thomas couldn't tell if it was Bill or Ben because his nameplate was hidden. Are you alright, um, Ben? I'm Bill, lied Ben. And no, I've broken down. Don't worry, I'll get help. And off he went. But he hadn't actually broken down, and he wasn't Bill, he was Ben. Their plan was working. Thomas soon arrived at the search and rescue centre. Ah, oh, Flynn, Bill's broken down in a tunnel. Can you help him? Of course. Let me get ready. Ah, oh, thanks, Flynn. And he went back to the tunnel. But then, Bill arrived. Phew, it sure is nice to be out of that tunnel. What? But Thomas just said you'd broken down. Well, I had, but I'm better now. So now, Flynn didn't have to leave the search and rescue centre. Don't worry, help is on the way. Thanks, Thomas. They waited and waited, but Flynn didn't arrive. I'll find out where Flynn is. Come on, Flynn. He's waiting for you. No, he's not. He's fine. What? He's still in the tunnel. Come on, I'll show you. Ugh, okay. But he won't be there. So Thomas showed Flynn to the tunnel. Thomas was shocked to see that the tunnel was empty. Donald and Douglas had watched the whole thing. Hehe, <laughs> we won! We won! Donald and Douglas admitted defeat. So all of the engines explained everything to Thomas and Flynn. Thomas was a little bit annoyed, but he was also glad that no one had got hurt. Uh oh! It's Tom Moss again! What's he up to? <laughs> Meanwhile, it was a special day for Dave the Minion. Happy birthday, Dave! Ah, oh, thanks! So Thomas, Toby and Percy were going to deliver all of the party supplies. Thomas was bringing the presents, Toby was bringing the balloons, and Percy was bringing the bunting and the cake. But all did not go to plan, because they had to pass through this tunnel. <laughs> Thomas went first. He went in and came out with no trucks. He stopped. Hmm, something feels different. But he thought nothing of it and continued with his journey, not realising that his trucks were missing. Toby went through the tunnel next. He lost his trucks too. But he didn't notice either, so he carried on with his journey. And finally, 
Percy went through the tunnel. And his trucks were taken too. were shocked. Where's our stuff? Oh dear, sorry guys. Where have our trucks gone? Hmm, that tunnel we passed through was a bit strange. I think you're right, Percy. Let's go and investigate that tunnel. Ooh, investigate? Can we come? Can we come? Of course you can. It is your birthday. So the minions hopped in a truck and off they went. When they got there, they heard... <laughs> Thomas! Oh, I knew someone like him must have been behind this. How will we get our trucks back? Hmm, oh, I know. What? He explained his plan. So Percy collected a truck full of fireworks. I hope this plan works. And he headed through the tunnel. Tom Moss took the truck. Yes, he took it. Hehe, <laughs> the plan is working. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Tom emerged from the tunnel with all of the trucks. He thought he was getting away. <laughs> but then he heard a noise coming from the fireworks truck. He quickly realised one of the fireworks was lit and was about to go off. So he ran away, leaving the trucks behind. The fireworks did go off. Well done guys, your plan worked. So the trains coupled up to their trucks and took the minions back to their party. which was a huge success. And Tom ran back to his tunnel. Until next time. <laughs> Watch out, Percy! Ow! That must have hurt! What are all those trucks doing piled up? Thomas was on his way to the docks to pick up a lot of cargo, so he had three trucks. Thomas stopped. These trucks feel lighter. I've lost one. I must go back and find it. dinosaur was increasing his truck pile, with poor Percy watching, helpless. Where is that truck? thought Thomas. Thank you.
He stopped again. I just don't believe it. I've lost another truck now. He turned back again. Thomas was busy searching for his trucks. He stopped again. Oh no, now I've lost them all. Just a minute, that's Tom Moss the prank engine. Are you behind this again? <laughs> James was out delivering fuel. He'd already lost one fuel truck. He didn't want to lose another. my fuel truck gone? <laughs> Have you seen Percy? said Thomas to James. No, said James. Have you seen my fuel trucks? Sir so Topham Hat pulled up. We've got lots of problems, said Sir Topham Hat. Percy is missing, everyone has lost their trucks, and now I've had the museum saying that they've had their remote control dinosaur stolen again. How careless. Ah, I think I know what's happened then, said Thomas. Uh -oh. Thomas saw Tom Moss leave his tunnel. Follow me, he said. They followed Tom Moss, but kept their distance. There, said Thomas. Thomas then charged at Tom Moss, who backed away. He dropped the remote control which Thomas picked up and brought back to Sir Topham Hat. Well done Thomas, said Sir Topham Hat. Rocky came and lifted Percy and all the trucks back onto the track. And the dinosaur was returned to the museum. Thomas was hard at work, pulling trucks full of coal. He soon came across a tunnel, which he needed to pass through. So his driver got out to change the points. When What was that? asked his driver. I, 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 I don't know, replied this scared Thomas. Suddenly, a ghost appeared. It's a ghost, cried Thomas. His driver jumped back in and they hurried off without the coal trucks. <laughs> Later that day, Gordon was pulling the express. He stopped. Oh, who has left trouble?
trucks full of coal in my way, he grumbled. What was that? A ghost! He ran away, leaving his express behind. James was busy working too. Huh, that's strange. There's Gordon's Express and Thomas's trucks. But where's Gordon and Thomas? A g -g -g ghost! And he ran away too, leaving his fuel trucks behind. He ran into the other two. Did you see the ghost too? asked Thomas. Yes, and, and I was so scared, I, I left my fuel trucks behind. I left my express behind. And I left my coal trucks behind. We need to get them back. Can we scare the ghost away? Thomas has an idea. Back at the tunnel. Thomas came charging in with a dragon. But the ghost wasn't scared at all. In fact, it even giggled. <laughs> the plan hadn't worked, so Thomas reversed off back to the others. Did it work? No. But I don't think it's a real ghost, said Thomas. It giggled. Did you recognise the giggle? I... I did, but I can't quite remember where from. Percy then passed over with some trucks. <laughs> That's it! It was a troublesome truck, cried Thomas. But Thomas, it moved by itself. Trucks can't do that. There must be an engine behind this. And there was. Diesel 10. Ha <laughs> ha! Foolish steamies! They're frightened of a truck! It can't be a real ghost! Ghosts don't exist! And they tried to scare me with a dragon. Ha! <laughs> Nothing scares me! Suddenly... What was that? Ghosty scared Diesel 10 away. Ah! There's a ghost! A real ghost! Ah! <laughs> Looks like Ghosty taught Diesel 10 a lesson. Ghosty appeared. Thank you, Ghosty, said Thomas. Oh, no problem, he replied, and he disappeared. So the others could collect their coaches and trucks and continue with their journeys. Thomas was pulling along his, Henry's, James and Hero's numbers. They were very heavy, so Thomas was tired and needed a drink. Hmm, there's a water tower over there, he thought. I'll leave these numbers for a moment while I get a drink. So he did. Unfortunately, while he was gone, Diesel 10 arrived. Oh, what do we have here? Numbers? Oh, I could do with more numbers, he said. So he took them. So when Thomas came back, oh no, they're gone, he cried. He saw Diesel 10 in the corner of his eye. 
I'd better warn the others, he thought. So he teamed up with Hero first. Thomas altered the signal, so it always showed red. So when Diesel arrived, he had to stop. Oh, come on, come on! While he was still, Hero quietly took his logo back. Well done, said Thomas. Let's see what's inside. It was Luigi. Three numbers left, said Hero. I'll work with James to get the next one, Thomas replied. So they came up with a plan. Back at the signal, Diesel 10 was getting impatient, so he decided to ignore the signal and get moving. But... Huh? Oh, why are my trucks lighter? Oh, I'm missing a number. So he decided to push the trucks from then on so that he could keep a close eye on the rest of the numbers. He was heading towards a crossing, where James was waiting. James derailed Diesel. Oh! And Thomas took the numbers away so James could open his. Inside was a pirate minion. Mm, I don't think he's very happy about being kept in that Play-Doh, warned James. Hi there! <laughs> Take the numbers! Yes sir! Aye aye, Captain! <laughs> oh no, we've only just got them back, said James. Don't worry, reassured Thomas. Huh? Thomas dropped off a truck full of bananas. Huh? huh? Bananas? Bananas! Bananas! Yay! Woohoo! Yay! Woohoo! Yum 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 While they were distracted, Henry took back his number. He opened it with Thomas. A troll from Frozen was inside. It's just your number left now, said Henry. I have an idea, said Thomas. Yum yum. <laughs> yum, yum. Huh? Oh, more bananas. But it wasn't. It was Thomas. And Batman. Batman! Ah! Ah! Run! Run! Ah! <laughs> Silly minions, it's just a cardboard cutout, laughed Thomas. But at least he had his number back, so he opened it. Hulk was inside. <sighs> so the engines thanked Thomas for helping them get their numbers back.
emergency bell? Apparently there's a dinosaur on the loose. Let's find it. Quickly. Meanwhile, Thomas and Percy were at Knapford Station. Hey Percy, guess what day it is today? Oh, um, Christmas? No silly, it's Sodor Surprise Day. I want to surprise as many engines as I can today, and I have a great idea how. And Thomas and Percy both stopped outside of a tunnel. I'll hide in this tunnel and pretend to be a dinosaur. That will surprise anyone who passes. Great idea, Thomas! Oh! Someone's coming! Quick, I'll steam away! Wow, it's really dark in here. Soon enough, Gordon chuffed round the corner. Roar! <laughs> roar! Gordon heard the roar and stopped. What is in that tunnel? Gordon! <laughs> How did you know my name? Gordon was scared. But then, Thomas chuffed out. Don't worry, Gordon. It's only me pretending to be a dinosaur. <laughs> Good one, Thomas. I was really scared and Gordon steamed away. That was fun, thought Thomas. I wonder who will be next. But soon, Gordon couldn't believe his eyes. He noticed a real dinosaur. Oh gosh, oh my. A real dinosaur! Dinosaur! <laughs> wow! Thomas must have really scared Gordon! Thomas was still waiting in the tunnel when he heard another train approaching. It was Salty. Roar! Salty heard the roar and stopped. What was that? Salty! How did you know my name? Salty was scared. But then Thomas chuffed out. Don't worry Salty, it's just me. Pretending to be a dinosaur. <laughs> Aye, good one, Thomas. I was really scared. And Salty set off for the docks. That was fun, thought Thomas. I wonder who will be next. But when Salty arrived at the docks, he couldn't believe his eyes. <laughs> My buffers! It's a real dinosaur! Salty hurried away as fast as he could go. Dinosaur! <laughs> wow! Thomas must have really scared Salty. Thomas was still waiting in the tunnel when he heard another train approaching. It was James. Roar! James heard the roar and stopped. What was that? He gasped. James! <laughs> How did you know my name? James was scared. But then Thomas chuffed out. Don't worry, James. It was only me, 
pretending to be a dinosaur. <laughs> Good one, Thomas. I was really scared. And James headed for Knapford Station. But when James arrived at Knapford, he couldn't believe his eyes. <laughs> Cinders and ashes! It's a real dinosaur! And James hurried away as fast as he could. Meanwhile, Thomas and Percy were under a bridge. Today has been very fun, said Thomas excitedly. You really did scare all the trains, Thomas. I saw them all pass. Then, Thomas had an idea. How about we go back to the tunnel so I can scare one more engine? Great idea, Thomas! But the real dinosaur was already at the tunnel. And entered it himself. Thomas and Percy arrived at the tunnel. What? What was that? gasped Thomas. He was scared. Thomas! Uh, how did you know my name? But then, Thomas realised he had heard this question before. Oh! <laughs> good one, Thomas! I was really scared! But you're Thomas! cried Percy, which means you're not in the tunnel. Suddenly the real dinosaur came out. <coughs> Bust my buffers, both engines shouted. Suddenly, Flynn and Bell arrived. Bell, shoot your net! And a net shot out of Bell's jet. <laughs> Thanks for helping, Thomas and Percy. No problem, Flynn. Wow, dinosaurs in tunnels are a lot more scary than I thought. At least the island is safe now. <laughs>